Hi folks, I'm Gary Dunshee with Big Ben Saddlery and this month's tack tips we had a request from a person on uh, wanting to know how you change conchos or leather buttons out on a saddle so we thought we'd answer their question for them. There's basically two kinds of, of conchos on saddles. The uh, first one we're going to do is the screw-in concho <clears throat> and usually find them on uh, roping saddles or production saddles. Um, it's You find them on a lot of saddles that aren't very high quality because it's just easier to put them in than, than drilling through the tree and stringing it and all that stuff. And uh, So anyhow, I don't like them at all on any saddle, but they're on a lot of saddles, so I'll show you how to change them out. Um, they make a little turner that you can put on there but we don't work on enough of them most ranch saddles don't have them so we don't work on enough of them to buy a turner I just cut a little piece of shop leather and put it over it and go to twisting on it that gives you a little grip and it's just a wood screw that's down in there as a rule some of them they put a Chicago screw backing on the concho and then they have a left-handed machine bolt that screws in there with a right-handed wood screw on it and that causes lots of problems but anyway <clears throat> this one just had a wood screw on the bottom of it there so it just screws in and out what happens with these things is they loosen up and they're always working out and you're always having to tighten them up the hole gets wallowed out in there and uh, I'm going to show you a way to tighten it back up. The best way that I know of is to get you some old kitchen matches. Just a wooden kitchen match. Stick the tail end of it down in the hole like that. And then just break it off. And if the hole's real big, you might have to do that two or three times. After you've done that, get a spike like this, or whatever you have, a real thin Phillips head screwdriver, and just put it in the hole, and then just kind of tap it a little bit to give you your screw a starting place. Just come back over, get it tapped off, and you want to get it tapped off right. Sometimes, if they're good, it'll only go one direction, but if the hole's real wallowed out, the screw may go in straight or down or forwards or backwards. You want to look at it and get it started where both sides of the bottom of the concho or the same distance from the leather where it's going to rest. So this one's pretty tight still. It's going on good. You just screw it in. It's tightening up real nice. It really wasn't loose to start with, but that'll make it work real good. After a while, it'll go to getting really tight. Need your little piece of leather again, give you a little traction. Use the rough side of it down, put it on there, and you can get another few cranks out of it. And these cheaper saddles, if they don't screw them in and even and they, they go down but they're not flush, they have a big gap down here at the top or something then they'll just take a hammer and whack it so that it's flush and that bends the concho to the screw and then they're real hard to take out. I don't advise tapping them. Just get them started right, screw them in straight and screw them down as tight as you can. You might have to find some big old strong boy to really crank it down but then it should be tight all the way around without any gaps anywhere. Next month we'll do the same thing only on a concho that's 
uh, strung with saddle strings. And strings go all the way through the tree. The conchos slotted, and then the strings are bled together. We'll do that next uh, next month and uh, show you how to take them off and put them back on. Thanks for watching.